Everybody's always got questions about how things work on a submarine. They're always kind of excited, wanting to know more about it. I am Lieutenant Matthew Powell, and I am a Navy submarine officer. Ultimately, you're the one responsible for making sure everything runs right and getting your team trained and, and running well, and exercising to make sure you can, you can do the mission that your submarine is asked to do, and that you're on the top of your game when you need to do that. The basic mission of our submarines, we've got a couple of them, but your first one is your strategic deterrence mission, which means you're that survivable asset that's out to sea to help deter any of the U.S.'s adversaries. The other mission is possibly going out and doing Navy SEAL team insertions. You can also go out to protect maybe a carrier strike group. There's all sorts of uh, surveillance missions. You go outside different countries and can do surveillance without being detected or seen and without that country even knowing you're there. You're going to be involved in a lot of top secret operations and a, a lot of things you're not going to be able to necessarily write home about, but it's, it's pretty exciting stuff. I chose the Navy because I felt like this particular field and being a submariner offered me a chance to serve my country with what I felt like I was good at. I was already in school to be an engineer. I was a chemical engineering major. The Navy helps students pay for their college education in a lot of different ways. The, the way that they helped me was through a program, the Nuclear Propulsion Officer Candidate Program, or the NUPOC program. And what that is, is as long as you're at a certain point in your college career, and you've had a year of calculus and a year of calculus-based physics, then you can essentially sign up for this program. And they pay you uh, for the remainder of your college career as if you're already serving in the Navy. You get full medical coverage. You don't have to wear a uniform on campus. It's uh, you're essentially, it's your normal day-to-day -day life before you signed up. Your job is to go to school and, and make the grades. And, and after that, that's really the only requirement until you graduate. The personality that's great for the New Park program is uh, obviously someone that is interested and does well in your engineering and math, physics areas, but also someone that is outgoing and wants to be a leader, wants to be in charge and be able to serve their country, apply the knowledge they've learned, and lead a team to accomplish a mission. Also now, the Navy has decided that women will now be allowed to qualify and serve on submarines, and I think it's a great opportunity for the Navy to continue to exercise its uh, great diversity track record. The, the nuclear training is, uh, it's tough. It's, it's like drinking from a fire hose, but after you go through that, you realize that in the end, you can learn how to do just about anything. I think the advice I would give to someone uh, considering a career as a submarine officer is that uh, it's challenging and, and you're gonna be pushed hard from day one, but that the rewards far outweigh any of the challenges.